God had been silent for 400 years. We knew because we were listening, in a sense. My job, my job is to listen. You wouldn't call a person that talks a lot a wise man, would you? No, you'd call them many, many, many things, but a wise man wouldn't be one of them. My position is to look for signs everywhere. A star, for example. I can look at a star and watch it and wait and see what the star is trying to tell us. I read one time of a star that would announce a new king. And then one day, there it was. A beacon in the night. A star like, unlike any other star I'd ever seen before. And so, I followed it. Several of us, we followed this star. It was bizarre. The star would lead, it would move, and we would follow. Our journey took two years, and it led us to Judea. And then the star stopped. It just stopped shining down over this small cottage. Our journey ended not at a palace for a king, but at a home for a peasant. This was it. I mean, we gathered our thoughts, we gathered our gifts, we did all that we could do to contain our emotion. And behind those doors was a new king a king that could command the stars in the sky and yet chose to dwell among us. A king that spoke and the word became flesh. God was finished being silent. That night we knelt, we bowed down before this baby boy and each one of us laid gifts at his feet. We had to, we couldn't help it. 400 years of silence, broken by the cries of the Son of God.